All right, the market is about to open. Boom, it is now open this Monday morning. We're off and running, and right from the start, we do have some selling. The Dow Industrials, I can see four winners up top there. McDonald's, Amgen, Procter & Gamble, and I can't read the Johnson & Johnson. Thank you very much. Number one <laughs> in the Dow today, up a mere 94 cents. Do you want to do this uh, commentary? I'm just at a better angle. <laughs> <laughs> You've got better eyes, that's a fact. Dow's down 160 right from the get-go. The S&P 500 down a half percentage point. The Nasdaq Composite on the downside to the tune of 0.39%. Not that big a drop. Big tech, most of them, all of them on the downside, but just fractionally, that's it. Uh, Apple, Amazon, Meta, Alphabet, Microsoft, and literally a fraction down. But look at Tesla. We've got something going here. Elon Musk uh, celebrating a milestone for his company. Am I right in saying, I think yep. you know the number, he's built three million Correct. cars, that's the number? Yep, one million from Shanghai. Impressive because of everything going on with the Chinese economy Possibly. swelling uh, drastically. And two million from Fremont, California. There's another catalyst that's coming for Tesla. It's President Biden signing the Inflation Reduction Act. Because if you look at the Tesla Model Y, best-selling EV in the U.S., the Model 3, second best, some of both of those models qualify for the federal tax credits. And then if you look at the, the sales of the Y and 3 this year, 230,000, double the next 10 popular EVs in the U.S. combined. Okay, that's super, very good for There's Tesla, those tax credits. And they don't need the tax credits, but they're getting some of them. You got it. Uh, I want to take a look at Peloton because I know they're in for a total makeover of yep. the entire company. Tell me about the changes. So the news came out on Friday, and the stock jumped 13 14% on Friday. So mm. that's when the big move happened. The change is 800 jobs cut. They're shutting some stores, raising prices on their exer exercise equipment, so between $500 and $800. For a bike? For a bike. They and put the price up? Yep. Okay, yeah. sorry to interrupt um, No, it, and, and that's actually a good thing because J.P. Morgan says it helps, you know, maintain premium brand positioning. So that's why the stock was up on Friday and it's kind of doing nothing, up just fractionally right now. But you know, actually a decent month at Peloton. Look at that It chart. takes a, kind of a gutsy move, isn't it? You raise the price of a bike by 500 bucks mm -hmm. when they're not doing very well already. My goodness me. All right, uh, how about the streamers? Put them all on the screen, please. Every streamer we've got, they're out there. Uh, here's my theory. Yeah. Are they struggling to keep subscribers for an entire year, or are we moving in and out of streaming services moving rapidly? Moving in and out. You want to see this show on this platform, you sign up, you watch a show, you cancel. We're doing that over and over again. Really? 19% um, of subscribers canceled three or more subscriptions in the past two years. So they signed up for a service when they wanted to see a special show, or just try it out because you were stuck at home. Hmm. So this unbelievable churn since. And, you know, Netflix lost, what, about a million customers in the most recent quarter. Is it easy to cancel? I, so I've never you canceled never a canceled. streaming service because I imagine it's hard, but it's got to be easy if everybody's doing it. Okay, the well, numbers I'm, are big. I've never signed up for a service I anyway, know, you, so there you go. You, uh, I you share passwords. I do indeed. Uh, <laughs> Bitcoin. Now, right now I've got Bitcoin at 24.1, but I think... Yep. Didn't it briefly, just briefly go to 25? Over the weekend, for the first time since mid-June, we are seeing this really tight correlation to risk assets like stocks. Definitely. So the S&P 500 yep. up four weeks in a row, up three plus percent last week on the cooling inflation data. So you saw Bitcoin recapture 25,000 briefly. Stocks are down today, so Bitcoin and the other cryptocurrencies are down too. Still at 24 grand, got that. Show me China's internet stocks, please. Mixed picture. Uh, they're mostly down because of China's weak economic data. Yep. And that weak China data is also hurting our market too. The, 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 the data in China was just awful. Factory data, retail sales data, credit expansion, all down, all missing expectations, all squeezed by their zero COVID policies. So in a surprise move, China's central bank cut rates to spur growth. But when you look at 16 to 24-year-olds, their unemployment rate is 20%. In China. 20%. 19.9%. 16 to 24. Yes. They don't have money to spend. And the threat of these snap lockdowns, when you can be in a Costco, for instance, and all of a sudden they get on the loudspeaker and say, we're, we're locking down because there was one person in this entire store that might have been exposed to someone who came down with COVID. That's a really scary feeling. So all of this hits their growth, it especially sure when you're looking at, you know, Alibaba. Uh, Pindu Duo, retail I, companies. I just don't see how they get out of this zero COVID policy. I can't believe they're still How do you reverse it? course in it? I, <laughs> you're, you're, the people in your country rebel, I guess, I at guess some so. point.
How do you live like this? All right, that's China stocks. How about uh, Dollar General? They are down yep. just one percent. What's going well, on? Well, downgrade at BMO to um, to market perform. They kept the price target at two sixty five. They basically think, look, the idea that dollar stores do better in recession is already <laughs> baked into the oh, stock. Okay. So that's why they're maintaining uh, their price target. I went to a dollar store yesterday, not Dollar General. Usually the balloons are a dollar there, which yes. is why I go. You come out the nice bouquet. You spend like ten bucks. Two fifty per balloon. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. With a sign on the door apologizing to customers for the drastic increase. Uh, extraordinary stuff. I was uh, there was a pizza house at a small seaside town on mm -hmm. Cape Cod, which I go to, and on Saturday night, despite crowds of people, on Saturday the whole day they were closed. Notice on the wall saying, sorry, we're closed. We couldn't find enough That's staff to operate. They could not. There was crowds all over the place. They would probably have done 20,000 bucks worth of business that day. Closed. Can't get the help. Really so something. Sad. Tell you. So sad. All right. We're in business now for five normal six minutes. And the big board shows a loss of about 160 points for the Dow Industrials. Just a little under a half percent down. Who are the Dow winners in a down market? Well, I'll show you. Uh, Walt Disney's up there, back to $123 a share. Salesforce, Procter & Gamble, J&J, &J, Visa, all on the active uh, big board winners list. Uh, Illumina tops the list from the Fortune 5, uh, the S&P 500. Moderna, Gilead, Gap, Ulta Beauty. NASDAQ Composite winners, Illumina, Gilead, Tesla, NVIDIA, and Okta. Tesla's now at one, uh, 916 per share. The 10-year treasury, we haven't checked that yet this morning. I'll do it now. 277. The price of gold, is it 1800 bucks an ounce? No, it's 1794. Bitcoin just holding on to 24,000 bucks a coin. Nat gas, oh sorry, oil, way down today, $5 wow. lower, $87 per barrel. Yeah, look, well that's the China slowdown. Mm -hmm. Slow down in China, less, less oil, price of oil goes down. Uh, Nat gas also down. Again, that's the China slowdown probably. The average price for a gallon of gas unchanged. Uh, overnight. First time we've seen that in about two months. 395 is your average. California, look at that, 536.